Today for Mousetrap Monday, get ready to catch a bunch of rats in the barn with this automatic walk the plank 3D printed trap. Now this is the latest version with a modification that's a game changer. I've already featured several traps from this inventor. He's a YouTube viewer who lives up in Alaska. He made a smaller mouse version and a larger rat version. The problem with the early designs is there's a platform that's stationary so the rats can hang on it with their tails or feet. When it drops down, they can hold on and not go in the bucket. I've tested it out with my pet rats and also wild rats in the barn. And time after time, the rats learn to hold on. Well, after seeing that, the inventor made a solution that's pretty much rat proof. This still has the sensor right there. It's powered on four AA batteries. When the rat goes out there, tries to get the bait and hits the sensor, it drops down. But this time the whole platform tilts, not just the plank. That way, if the rat's standing on this, it's gonna go in the bucket. If you want more details about how this trap works, check out the earlier versions. But in this video, we're gonna go straight to the action. I have two variations on this new design, one with a longer plank and one with a shorter plank. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Over the past week, we caught a lot of mice with this new and improved 3D printed walk the plank mouse trap. It's pretty sophisticated with the circuit boards and motors, but man, the mice don't have a chance. As soon as they walk out there and hit the sensor, it drops down and you got them. Now, unfortunately, I don't have that many rats left right now. I need to find a new location. I've trapped most of them out and the ones I have found are too smart for the trap, but I do think the larger version would work. We definitely know though that it doesn't work for squirrels. They're way too big and agile. When it dropped down, it jumped right out of the bucket. Now you might be wondering what I did with all those mice we caught. Well, the native mice, I let go. And the non-native mice, I'm gonna feed the wild animals at my property. I set up the motion cameras and quickly discovered we have some scavengers that might like the rodents we catch. So you'll see those in future videos. But overall, this 3D printed walk the plank mousetrap worked extremely well. I love it when YouTube viewers come up with new mousetrap designs. Now the inventor also sent me a bunch of other fun items. In the last package he sent me some moose jerky that was delicious. And this time he sent me toys for the kids to play with. Here's a 3D printed skeleton of a dinosaur. Here's a fun little trinket. It spins around right there. And also some magnets to hang on the wall. Here's one of a skull and here's of a moose. That is really fun. If you want to buy any of these 3D printed items including the mouse traps, I'll put the link to the website in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.